Girls and boys. That reminds me, Rini says during our third or fourth reading of Alexander and the Wind-Up Mouse, is Willie a boy? We look through the book until we find a pronoun attached to Willie. One day, Willie told a strange story I've heard. He whispered mysteriously that in the garden, there lives a magic lizard who can change one animal into another. Then he is a boy, Rini says. So why is they all mostly boys? In the Leo Leone books, are they? The children bring over, bring our entire collection to the rug. I've never thought about this before. Rini says the characters are all boys. Let's see if it is so. I hold up each book in turn. Tico, a boy, the children say. Swimmy, a boy. Frederick, Cornelius, Pesettino, all boys, and so on. We cannot find any girls. Walter turns to Rini. Girls could be too. Swimmy, you was too. Walter's right, I say. You were Swimmy and Frederick and Pesettino too. We've been acting out all these books without thinking about boys or girls. That's because we do it all together, Rini ply, replies. But when I was Swimmy all by myself, I think about it. Swimmy should be a girl. Like Harriet Tubman. Yes, she says. Until now, the question of gender has not come up in Leo Leone stories, as it always does when we act out our own stories. Using our quarrel method, Frederick, Cornelius, and the others are represented by girls and boys speaking in unison. Not one of the characteristics or issues we've discussed has been perceived as having anything to do with being a girl or a boy. Nonetheless, Rini has introduced a very contemporary issue. We sit quietly for a few minutes looking at the posters now, covering the four walls, sometimes one above another, almost reaching the ceiling. I think probably, probably Leo Leone, he wasn't thinking about girls too much because he used to be a boy. Rini says her idea makes, and her idea makes sense to everyone. And there could be another reason also. I say, reaching for my notebook, be patient now while I write down these publishing dates. 1968, 1959, 1964, 1960, 1968, 1967, 1970, 1983, 1975. Okay, now, except for Cornelius in 1983, all these books came out at least 20 years ago. Swimmy and Tico were written 30 years ago. In those days, many writers automatically made their main character boys, even when they could just have easily have been girls. No one has anything to say. With my notebook perched on the piano and all the dates showing, the subject has become unclear. Well, let me ask you, I say pointing to the posters, do any of these characters have to be a boy? Alexander has to be a boy because he's always chased with a broom, Jenny calls out. All the children nod in agreement. Now that the girl boy issue has been raised, the stereotype of the naughty boy enters the scene. Alexander, a free mouse, as the children call him, lives in the same house as Willie, a toy mouse who is petted and loved. <coughs> All Alexander wanted was a few crumbs, and yet every time they saw him, they would scream for help or chase him with a broom. The story ends with Alexander helping Willie become a real mouse by wishing on a purple pebble, but the punishment image sticks to Alexander and thus makes him of necessity a male. Anyway, Willie could be a girl, Rini decides, because he's on a pillow, like girls is supposed to be. Alexander has to be a boy because he's sort of bad. I mean, they always be are thinking he's bad. Bruce objects. He isn't bad. Is bad when you save Willie? Huh? That mother with the broom doesn't like him. We've strayed somewhat from Rini's topic. Why are the main characters all boys? You know Leo Leone kept writing books after Cornelius, I say. Why don't we go to the library and see if the newer boy books have more girls? Rini and Walter go ahead with a note explaining our mission. By the time the rest of us arrive... The librarian hands us a Leone, Leo Leone book we haven't seen before. Geraldine, the music mouse. Here's a girl for you. What's the date, Reedy asks, surprising the libra librarian. 17, 1979, she says, looking it up. Why do you want to know? We got to know everything about Leo Leone. Reedy takes my hand. Walking back to the classroom, Reedy thinks of a different sort of question, though perhaps not so different after all. Is Annie a brown girl like me? Willie belongs to a girl named Annie, whom we've never seen. There is no way of knowing, Rini. It doesn't say. We have not gone much further. farther when Rini asks, Is the lady with the broom brown or white? We never see that person either. Rini frowns. I think the lady and Annie both has to be white, because see, Leo Leone likes the color brown, and if Annie and that lady, I think it's her mother, if they are brown, he's going to show us that. He's going to want to draw their pictures for us to see. 